Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about and reviewing the Groza 1 Carbine. This is the new weapon from the Spring Patch that's going to be available as a primary weapon for all classes. Now, out of the available weapons, why did I decide to review this one first? Well, it's got some pretty special characteristics about it. The first thing is that it is the highest damage per second carbine available in the game. That's right, it even outdamages the MTAR. However, it doesn't beat out the MTAR's 900 round per minute rate of fire. Instead, it has a higher damage model, popping up the Sim thick charts here you can see that it does 30 damage maxima as opposed to say the mtar or most other carbines 24.5 damage maximum this is a pretty significant amount of damage because it means you're going to be able to four shot kill people even if they're using the defensive perk in close quarters it has a 725 round per minute rate of fire which makes it decent for spray and pray style gameplay and frankly that's what you're going to need to do a bit with this gun because it does not have good accuracy nor does it have good bullet velocity uh, which is going to make it very difficult to use at further ranges. Also, you don't get the damage benefit at further ranges. So basically, this is a medium to close range gun exclusively. Checking out the reload times, we have a 2.5 short reload, which isn't particularly great. And if you manage to use all the bullets in your magazine, you're hitting a 3.35 reload. So basically, try and keep a few bullets left in your mag when you hit that reload button. And if at all possible, make sure you kill your opponent before you need to reload. Otherwise, you're going to be screwed. Now, when checking out the reload, recoil pattern with this weapon it's pretty frightening 0.57 vertical pull and a 0.4 left and a 0.4 right this thing basically just kicks a lot and it's going to screw your accuracy at range there's not a lot you can do to it especially considering that a lot of the attachments are already picked for you it's got a permanently attached vertical foregrip and a compensator so there's not a lot you can do with this weapon other than picking the optics and your accessory on the bright side though it only takes 10 kills to unlock the cobra site which is my personal favorite favorite sight and it looks pretty cool on this gun and then if you have the auto spotter which is available on carbines and dmrs if you bought the final stand expansion i just slapped that on there and the gun is good to go in pretty much its final state i wouldn't do anything else to the weapon i mean you can pick whatever optic you want but the cobra is going to work just fine now at 20 kills you will unlock the laser sight and this gun does have decent hip fire accuracy so if you want to take it in that direction and get some cqb hip fire kills you are more than welcome to personally that's not really my place style and I'm not a big fan of the laser sight so I just ADS for most of my kills even though it's not a particularly accurate weapon it was fine for close to medium range the thing you really need to get used to is having a very slow muzzle velocity of 400 meters per second it's almost like this is a suppressed weapon uh, and it just means that you're gonna have to lead a lot when people are running past you even if it's medium range you might need to lead a little bit more than you're used to now there is a pretty big caveat to this weapon and it's probably not gonna appeal as much to highly skilled players that are used to aiming for headshots and uh, precision shots at range because this gun just can't be accurate even if you're aiming directly at your target you're going to be missing a lot of your shots you could be doing uh, short little bursts trying to conserve your ammunition be as accurate as possible and it's just going to be really hard to get those headshots at even medium ranges so that is something that takes a while to get used to once you kind of understand that this weapon is a bit of a blunderbuss uh, and there's nothing you you can do to really control its accuracy too much and you just kind of have to spray in a general direction then you can start to do better with it but if you are the type of player that likes to be more precise definitely pull off your headshots and stuff like that then the groza one might be a bit of a frustrating weapon to you and I personally kept going back and forth with how I felt about the gun. I like the extremely high damage per second. That is an awesome thing. The four shot kill in close quarters, again, is a very, very good thing to have on any weapon. And uh, it was nice to be able to out damage a lot of the assault rifles that I kept running into. However, at medium and longer ranges, which is something that I definitely like to be able to have some sort of controllability, some sort of power there, I felt kind of useless. So I had to start thinking of this carbine as more of a shotgun, something that I'm going to need to use in CQB and in that situation the reload time it just isn't that great so it can screw you over I'm not saying it's a bad carbine it's actually a very very good carbine but you really do have to kind of wrap your head around what this weapon can and can't do in addition to that the latest patch has made a lot of the weapons less accurate the longer you shoot them so uh, I recommend using a weapon you're familiar with and seeing how that weapon performs and then trying this out so on a whole a lot of the guns got less accurate and that again I think is going to 
take some time for me to wrap my head around and probably a lot of other players out there. It's definitely a different game since the spring patch. There's been a lot of changes with the gun balance and gun aiming and gun everything. So it's going to take a while for everybody to sort of refamiliarize themselves even with their favorite weapons. So unfortunately, there's not a lot I can talk about with customizing this weapon or outfitting it for different situations because you just don't really have any customization options. Your optic and your accessory, that's about it. You can choose whether or not to use a laser sight and try and hip fire more or hip fire less and just not use the laser sight. That's pretty much your only decision with this weapon. The one cool thing though is that it is a universal weapon so you can decide what class you want to use it on and it could be a great gun for somebody who's playing the recon class using a spawn beacon trying to get in CQB and tear stuff up. So that could be a great class to play with. If you play the recon before and you're using the m tire you might actually find the Groza a little bit more effective for tearing things up in CQB combat. It's definitely a good competitor for the m -tar, and the m -tar is an excellent carbine. Just don't be surprised when you pick up this gun for the first time, aim down sights and miss your target completely. A moving target is even harder to hit because of the slow muzzle velocity. So it's going to be kind of tricky, but again, CQB kind of fixes all of that because accuracy is not as big a deal there. The situations that you wouldn't want to use this in are for, say, tank support in bigger open maps vehicle oriented gameplay this just doesn't have the accuracy to deal with targets at medium or further ranges so it's not a good tank support weapon it's really more of a cqb anti-infantry weapon and that's about it so that's pretty much the groza for you tdm is probably where you'll get the best results with this weapon because it's not particularly adaptable as always guys i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time this is level cap signing off